Hey guys, how's it going? Now, when it comes to Windows, there are a plethora of good web browsers that you can install on your Windows PC. Some claim to offer the best speeds, while some offer the most features, while others offer maximum privacy assurance. But which one is right for you? Well, this is one from Guiding Tech and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the top 7 web browsers that you can use on your Windows PC. So without wasting any time, let's just jump right into it. Alright, so kicking things off, I just quickly want to get this thing off my chest, which is the Microsoft Edge browser. Yes, it comes pre-installed on your Windows PC. Most folks just prefer installing another browser while using the Microsoft Edge to download that web browser. But trust me, give Microsoft Edge a chance and you probably won't regret it. But the Edge browser has it all. It's built on the Chromium project, so it comes with support for all of Google Chrome's extensions, all while using pretty less resources. You get advanced features like collections, which in my opinion is much better than normal bookmarking. And then there are other additions to secure your privacy too. Personally, I would say that if you like Chrome, but have a less resourceful system, then you should definitely give Microsoft Edge a shot. I can assure you that you won't regret it. Now moving along, if privacy is what you're after, well, my go-to recommendation used to be Brave Browser until I recently tried out Epic Privacy Browser. And now it's become my go-to recommendation for the best privacy focused web browser. Epic Privacy Browser is a completely private and secure web browser that features its own ad blocker and mining blocker. Additionally, you also get protection against trackers, fingerprinting, ultrasound signaling, key loggers and whatnot. What's more is that the browser also comes with its own free to use VPN built inside the app that's not only easy to use but actually offers good speeds too. As for functionality, it's also based on Chromium, so you get a similar user experience with full support for Chrome extensions, just with enhanced privacy. Alright, now taking a break from Chromium-based web browsers, if you still want a good third-party web browser for your Windows PC, well, even today, Mozilla Firefox remains a solid recommendation. Firefox is widely regarded as the best browser for Windows by many, and for good reason too. The new updates have made it better than ever, bringing its performance to par with its competitors, while still offering the same level of customizability. You get access to plenty of extensions in the Mozilla store, and coders and developers vouch for Firefox because of the inspection tools that it offers. Not to forget that Mozilla also offers great privacy protection too, along with superb cross-platform sync. Alright, now there are people out there who use a web browser for, well, just browsing the web. That's it. Nothing more, just plain and simple. And if you're one of those, you should definitely check out Slim Browser. Built on the Gecko engine, Slim Browser offers a simple to use browser with the core essential features included inside. You get a good ad blocker, there's a nice screenshot tool, and you also get seamless web page and text translation. The performance speeds are great and the browser barely puts a load on your system, making it a great option for systems with dated hardware. The best part about Slim Browser is its download manager, which uses multi-threading for boosting download speeds and can automatically download videos from various portals too. Alternatively, if you prefer the Chromium engine, the company also has the Slim Jet web browser, which offers pretty much the same package, so you can check that out too. Personally though, I would pick Slim Browser out of the two. Speaking of Chromium, I mean, this list would not be complete without talking about the big elephant in the room, which is Google Chrome. Complain all you want about the memory hogging and the resource sucking about it, but the fact that Google Chrome still has more than 65% of the market share speaks for itself. When it comes to features and speed, the Google Chrome browser has it all. You get an excellent library of extensions, superb autofill capabilities, seamless sync across all platforms, a pretty good password manager, and some great tools for web developers. And if you're heavily invested in Google's products such as Gmail or YouTube, the research and even my own personal usage will suggest that they all work better inside Google's own web browser. In fact, despite using every web browser out there, I personally still keep going back to Google Chrome simply because I'm just so well accustomed to it and also because of the fact I do have extra memory to spare. And that is the key point here. If you've got the hardware for it, I would still recommend Google Chrome as my top choice for a good web browser. But when it does come to switching to something else, one of my favorite browsers to switch to is Vivaldi. I mean, the whole experience is so good that I always enjoy using that web browser. Now, Vivaldi comes from the former Opera developers and it does things differently. In some ways, too differently. 
Built using the Chromium engine, Vivaldi is all about customization. You can adjust the sidebar, the tabs, the navigation, use custom toolbars, adjust the fonts and color schemes and whatnot. Of course, you do have to spend some time customizing things as per your liking and then adjusting your routine workflow to it. But once you're through with it, the browser offers a unique user experience that's literally tailored to enhance your productivity. Last on this list, we have Opera, but no, not the normal one, but instead the Opera GX, which is created for gamers. As a gamer, you need maximum control over performance and the Opera GX does just that. You can set limits on CPU, GPU and RAM usage, which basically allows you to use the browser in the background while also running your heavy duty games. Apart from that, it's a gaming web browser. So of course you have to have those flashy themes with a pretty attractive dark mode. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of the web browsers that I talked about down in the description box. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vaughn from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.